Hey, about that. <laughs> what is up, y'all? Welcome to outside, taking advantage of a nice evening in the summer here. Sun's about to dip. I got Pizza Hut on the way, okay? I'm in the backyard, I'm ready to intercept delivery men. So I'm waiting to intercept the pizza dude, right? And I figured in the meantime, while I'm waiting, let's just make up these two sauces that I'm gonna have today. Of course, we're gonna do the runny ranch. That's what always has to happen, but I just had this thought in my head for some reason or another to go full psychosis and make another sauce of some sort. And that is going to be a sour cream based. Okay, it's gonna be freaky. I have no idea what this means. These are mild banana peppers. And I'm just gonna use a bit of the juice. That's way too much. You can split that between the ranch. Okay. This dip seems possibly disgusting. KFC barbecue that I told you is so good. We're gonna add that in there and see if we can get that to come together a little bit. Come together right now, all over me. Wait, what? <laughs> Did he just say that out loud? Is this a bukkake orgy? Hope not, don't think so. It's not what we're here for. I always used to sing that come together uh, all over me and then also uh, I can feel it coming in my head at night. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay, this conversation's going too, too dark. Okay, a little BBQ. I also have a pizza surprise. That's kind of why I'm making this sauce like this. It just kind of sparked in my head because it might match up with the pizza. I don't know, we'll see. The pizza that I'm getting is very polarizing. The internet loves to talk about this type of pizza. This is life living on a flight path. Don't live on a flight path. Okay, uh, I need a taste test just to see if it's even any good. It's quite good. But wait, there's more. You guys know I've been savage with these, these onions lately, right? So, I figure why not make my dipping sauce, my little Southwest barbecue dipping sauce, crunchy, right? Let's just add those in right on top there. Now I'm not gonna sink them in until the pizza gets here because I want them to remain crisp. But that, my friends, is going to be one strange dip potentially, but it could be awesome. We'll see. That's what life's about. Learning new tricks for old dogs, you know? Pretty old dog over here. Okay. And the Runny Ranch, I usually just do with pepperoncini liquid, but I don't have any pepperoncinis right now. It's really the same shit. It's just a pickling liquid that's mildly spicy. Yo, the Valley got these new bottle tops. They're actually sick. They used to screw off and now they have like this flap. I'm super into it. But yeah, Runny Ranch is literally just ranch with the liquid mixed right into her. For any of those who ever wondered how I, how I make it. It's really simple. It's just some sort of pickling liquid, some lightly spicy pickling liquid mixed into a whole little gang of ranch here. And then it's kind of just thin, you know, it's good for that dip. Yo, nice night for a little slice outside in nature, isn't it? <laughs> I have officially intercepted the pizza man. The exchange has gone down and it is a beautiful night. I'm racing against the sun though, uh, for a pizza hut mukbang in the yard. The great reveal. A dun -da -da -da. What did I get? What did I get to blow y'all's minds? It is, of course, the internet and pizza lovers' most controversial pizza. Hawaiian, baby. We got those pineapple gems on there. What do y'all have to say about that? Is that the thumbnail? I think that is the thumbnail. Hello. We got to crack it, baby. You guys know about a mukbangers pro move, don't ya? <laughs> don't ya know, Bobby? Don't ya know? Did anybody else used to watch Bobby's World? Of course, if you're of, of age, you gotta be on my level. Uh-oh, something strange is happening here. Uh-oh, that's not a pro move. That is not a pro move. Oh my God, the pro move is turning into an amateur move so hard right now. Okay, there we go. Let's bring back the coldest water. Shout out the coldest water. If you'd like to save 10% on a bottle, please do so down below using code hoodie. 
Okay, so yo, it's a beautiful night. I got my pie. This is the pie of the day. It cost me like 15 bucks. That's why I got it. But also, you know, I'm not a huge fan of uh, Hawaiian, but I'll do it. It works. We got the Runny Ranch that I showed you that I whipped up, and we got this Psycho Sauce, whatever that is. We'll figure that out. Uh, I want to get to this immediately because I don't want it to cool down too much. Uh, before we do anything more, of course, we must. Pa -pa 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 pour. And let me just finish these little, little last bits here that are in there. Uh, get you front and center. And uh, we're, you know, we're doing it right for summertime today, right? We're, we're kind of, let's call this letting summer go today, right? We're, we're seeing it out and we're gonna have a little cockatiel with our pizza. Now I have had one already prior to this, as you can maybe tell via my energy. Um, and uh, what we're doing is we're doing ginger ale. Canada dry and uh, just making it nice and fresh. So cheers to you, cheers to me. Cheers to a long ass winter for me. Not cheers really, but what as. Not loving having to be like do adulting. Um, already stressed about the like thousand dollars I'm gonna have to spend on buying a snow blower or something like that. Something as such around the, those prices I feel. And uh, yeah, snow removal. It's a bitch, but What's not a bitch is this pizza. So let's do it. It's looking prim and proper. Yes, we have cheese pull. We're outside in the natural light. And uh, we're trying to beat the sun here. Now, as one would imagine, we're gonna have to go psycho sauce first. There you go. Ooh, ooh, up close and personal. With those crispy bits. You guys are going to have to deal with uh, neighbor noise. It's a real thing outside. Dogs, saws, cars. Shit popping off. I tell you what. That sauce crashes. The crunchy onions, the little sweet BBQ. A little tart from that little cut from the pickling liquid. It is hitting really hard. Okay, we you know we gotta get Runny with the ranch now. The Roddy Rich of Runny Ranch. Mm-hmm. Fire. One thing I'm mildly disappointed about is they put the ham underneath the cheese. To me, rookie error. I'll put it on top to get a crisp on it. No? Don't you think? Let me know below. As you can tell, 
I'm starving. I'm going full savage. Haven't had anything yet today to eat. And it's like 8 o'clock p.m. Uh, <clears throat> also, once again, trying to beat this sun right now. Might have to adjust this camera lighting. We're just going to officially call this psycho sauce. The wind is kicking up. Yo. What is this? I'm telling you what. This sauce. I really did not have high expectations. And it is crushing. I might even go as far as to say in this particular instance it's got running ranch beat. Awesome. The mood is legit out very crescent and uh, looking sick that's definitely one thing in life that we gotta appreciate food <laughs> for sure but really just a simple beauty of nature, of the sun setting, you know, really one of the highlights of life. They say the best things in life are free. But you can give them to the birds and bees, I want money. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's what I want. Your money. Advertiser money. On these videos. That said. I did actually just get a donation randomly from a, well, maybe I won't say their name at all if they don't, well, it's not that it matters, but just a, a woman, a lady. I emailed her, I thanked her, I always do, when anybody sends me any sort of uh, generous, you know, thank you for these videos type uh, compensation, it's always appreciated. So if you're watching this video, you know who you are and thank you for your money. <laughs> money is always appreciated. Though taboo. Not supposed to talk about it. That said though, I feel like in life that's the smartest shit you could do and you got to be proactive in your um your personal learning about about money and like where to put it how to make it grow how to invest how to make it work for you you know if you never seek 
that knowledge, you'll stay uh, check to check. You know, pretty much for the rest of your life because you need to actively seek that knowledge. Now, it does take money initially to even have to start doing things with though. But once you have money, it's much easier to make money, you know? Money's a strange concept. The driving force of a lot of crazy shit. A lot of evil shit. I feel like it makes people do shitty things to each other. That said though, I also view money as like this fake thing that makes us civil. Because I feel like without money, we would be savages. Like, you know what I mean? If it just, if, if, if it was like, you know, rape, pillage, steal, murder to, to acquire things, right? Things that you desire and want. Then those who are like physically and genetically like jacked or armed to the teeth are going to win out and who have those like those savage character traits like are you capable of murder <laughs> right I feel like most people aren't but that's because we live in a civilized society now it's always interesting to think about though like what what would what would be the alternative to money because if we lived on like a barter system a utopian barter system where everybody just did what they love to do like would anything get done? Would we advance? Does advancing even matter? I feel like advancement ultimately leads to our demise anyways. I feel like going back to nature and being more simplistic in our pursuits is like a better way of life but unfortunately you know as man and the human race we have desire to progress to learn to understand to 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 achieve knowledge beyond what we're meant to have or something like that, right? Ultimately, man's desire is to solve the puzzle, solve the mystery, because we are born into a mystery. We are born into a puzzle. And uh, we want to keep solving that puzzle until we know some fucking real answers, which we don't know shit still, by the way. It's stupid. So interesting. Just life and the consideration of things. And the fact that we, let's say we were created by something. 
the fact that we have the fucking arrogance or ego to believe that we can <laughs> track it down, <laughs> that we can ultimately, like, like it's hide and seek, right? Like we're going to find it. It's like if this is so fucking vast and amazing and miraculous and everything, every word you want to call it, you really think that our little inferior asses are going to figure it out? No. Definitely not. Even if, even if it's like a well-intended idea, you still have the other aspect of it, of like the social dynamic of money and what that makes people do and how that makes people act and power and all these complex dynamic things that occur in humans, across humans that ultimately like toxicify our very existence and lead us to destruction, <laughs> self-destruction. While, while some of that is, you know, within that, within that structure and that system, there is some nobility moving towards understanding and solving the puzzle. <laughs> but I feel like it feels futile to even try to solve the puzzle. It's like, just be here, be easy, be simple, just do the things that are like natural and free and chill and cool. Maybe do some cool shit along the way and then just like die because that's what you're supposed to do. But man wants to be immortal and man wants to play God and man wants to, to, to find God, understand God and become God and then also become like, have eternal life. I feel like that's what like AI and robotics and everything and like all this like genome shit that we're like trying to figure out is we're trying to immortalize ourselves when I don't know if it's in our nature to be immortal, you know? And it's like, if there is something beyond this, maybe this is, you know, it's weird because I look around and I look at how the beauty of this world, right? There is a lot of beauty, but a lot of it's a lot of terrible hatred and pain and suffering and, uh, it, you know, I'd be hard pressed to say that this is hell, but what if beyond this, when you die, you do go somewhere like back to what feels way more like home? Like maybe this is some shitty-ish type purgatory, but there's some beauty to be found in it, I guess, which, which always contradicts my point about, okay, well, this can't be a living hell because this place is seemingly too beautiful and, and, and like ripe with great things. Mm, but... Alternatively, those who are in, are in command make it a very shitty place most of the time and the structure that we have in place to exist. But therein lies the problem, back to my earlier point, is like there needs to be that crazy, uh, you know, classist, tyrannical type structure in order for us to actually, you know, get along and not kill each other and be savages because... If we didn't have that in place, then we would fucking go crazy. And like, and if it was, you know, no holds barred and every man for himself, you know, shit would be nuts. So it's like, you know, you want to hate the system or whatever, but like, what's a better one? I don't know. This video went way deeper crazy than I thought it would. But <laughs> that's the, that's the four ounces of liquor, I guess. Gets me thinking. I'm also just tapped into like, I'm just riffing off the, uh, the ethereal realm right now, which I often do with myself. Um, I got two pieces here. I feel like I could smash them, but I feel like I've been talking so long that at this point it doesn't matter. And I went savage mode in the beginning. And, uh, for right now, I, for some reason, I actually just feel like talking <laughs> and expressing myself. Uh, lots of times in these videos, it's not that it's a struggle to, to say a shit. It's just that it's like, I don't know. Some days it just, I'm not, I don't have it. Like I don't have the tap, I'm not tapped in. But right now I was just tapped in. So anyways, I don't know. That went on a crazy different train. And uh, I'll save these two for 
a little later on, a couple more drinks. These dead, you know what I'm saying? You get it, I'm sure you understand. All right, hope you enjoyed that one. I really enjoyed that one. Just there's something about outside, there's something about this vibe, this nature, and uh, you know, some deeper thoughts. So until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true. Peace.